Hi everyone, this is part two of the uh, VRoom modeling and 1.2 features tutorial thing. Um, okay, what I've got here, I've, I've taken the model over into layout. I've also made a few ancillary objects. I'd like to just quickly explain the purpose of these. Um, as you can see, we've got a, uh, a cylinder object, inverted cylinder. That's just got a sort of cityscape in the background. And I've also just nabbed a quick sort of aerial photo just to put at the base. These are all really sort of crude temporary objects. This is just so that when we uh, look at the building from the camera's point of view, it doesn't look completely out of place or floating in uh, in midair. I'm just going to quickly zoom, zoom the camera in a little bit just to fill up our field of view. And obviously this object in the background, if I can select it, has had its uh, shadows turned off. I did uh, also have it unseen by camera before and just put a, uh, a backdrop image in, in the compositing tab, the same image actually, because I initially used this um, cylinder object just as a, uh, a reflection map, or a, a reflection object, sorry. Um, but for some reason F-Prime doesn't seem to want to show backdrop images, I'm not sure why that is, but hey, there you go switch back to camera view. So first of all, now that we've got our building in place and everything like that, it's time to set up the window. So I go straight over to the surfacing tab, surfacing panel, and let's grab our windows. Let's grab, yeah, these are our main bunch of windows. So I'm going to activate the node editor and open it, then come to add node, Eurisco, VRoom, yada, yada, yada. I'm just going to plug in the diffuse for now. I can plug in the material later. Ooh, that's not right. There we go. And those of people who are familiar with previous versions of VRoom will see there's a few more options here. Uh, the uh, U scale, V scale, and uh, the center, which I'll explain in a moment. But I'm just going to set up a few basic parameters first. So I don't want that library, I want office medium and the blinds, just select those, that's all fine, change that back to white, image trace is fine, 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 so a bit of tilting going on, and advanced. I'll leave it, the radial mode off for now, just so you can see the difference. Okay, I'm just going to drag this out of the way and fire up F prime. There we go. Okay. As you can see we've got lots of blinds covering our rooms. In fact, just for the time being, let's just pause that a sec. It, for users, for people who use F prime, um, at the moment there there are some all, all options for uh, V room are difficult to alter whilst F prime is running. You you can sometimes do it, but there's an awful lot of things going on behind the scenes that um, lock the uh, variable variables from being changed while uh, F prime is evaluating any. Uh, any one of the rooms. So the easiest way to do it is just to pause F prime if you want to change something. So I'm going to change that to none and then just let it resume and then it'll change. There we go, they got rid of all our blinds. Because you can sometimes change these things. But as you can see. Oh no. No. There you go. Yeah, it's a little bit finicky. Come on. There we go. So yeah easy just to pause. Now you can see here we're using the classic old uh, square rooms and uh, I'm not sure if it's immediately apparent from this but um, basically all the rooms are square which is great for um, certain types of building, old types of buildings, that's 
that's fine and dandy because lots of those buildings are square but more and more often modern buildings are becoming if not cylindrical then just sort of curve shaped and things like that and in order to cope with this I wonder if I can get actually get a better look here we are took me a little while to get a nice looking shot but, uh, you can see here all of the rooms conforming to this uh, sort of square orthogonal like set like all of the rooms are pointing essentially in the same direction you can see here you end up with sort of small triangular looking rooms but let's say for example that you wanted all of the rooms to point inwards as they probably would on a on a circular building like this then that's why I've introduced this new radial mode now what this will do is this will take you have a chance to set a radial center this will grab that value along with the up value and it will sort of create a uh, a sort of central line a central shaft so the radial center will be from point zero 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 so that's at the center of the object and all the way along the uh, this uh, this vector here which is just straight up straight up y so the defaults should just work fine generally you might need to change the the radial center occasionally so I'm just going to pause this let's let it refine a bit so you can see you should be able to see the difference in a moment so I'll turn on the radial mode turn it back on there we go and resume there you go. You can now see all of these rooms are all pointing inwards towards the center of the building. Actually, it's towards zero, 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 which is the center of the building in this case. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, one of these new options, the U scale and the V scale. Now, what this does, um, well, previously to this, what VRoom did was uh, just grab the uh, the polygon and that polygon pretty much dictated the, the the size of the room I mean it was you could change the room depth and extrude backwards but um, you hadn't got any control as to how wide the room was or how sort of how much depth the room had sort of vertically now with the U scale and the V scale you do have that control uh, essentially the U scale will scale the room from the center at the moment we set to top edge center it will scale the room in the U direction of the polygon and V will just scale it in the V direction of the polygon the uh, centers you have top edge center which is probably the good to have as, as a default as that will take the top edge of the window polygon the center point of that and everything will be scaled from there so the ceiling will remain at the top sort of flush with the top of the uh, window polygon which is probably what you want and the the floor if you if sorry if v if the v scale is increased the floor will sort of move move down um so it's got top vertex that will sort of take the topmost vertex uh polygon center and sort of similar ones for the for the bottom. So I'm just going to leave that on top edge center now. And what I am going to do is change this. Let's get a good view of the floor. You can see there's the sort of the floor sort of right flush with the bottom of the polygon. So now if I increase this to say 130%, resume. Here you go, the rooms have all just been stretched down. Let's see if I can't get that up a bit. No, can't do that. Let's try 115. There we go. So the rooms have a little bit sort of more uh, vertical depth in because you can see this uh, this part here. That's why I made this uh, sort of part of the uh, the structure that the room will sort of descend into and the window just sort of looks in into the larger rooms. 